Sometimes we might be multiplying two numbers, and we don't need an exact answer. Just a quick estimate would, would suffice. And if you have fractions in this case, you can round to the nearest whole number and just multiply the whole numbers. That will give you a quick estimate. So instead of 4 and a fourth times 5 and 7 eighths, I could say that this is approximately equal to 4 times 6. You should be able to see that the whole number closest to 4 and a fourth is 4. And the whole number closest to 5 and 7 eighths is 6. So I'd have 4 times 6, which is approximately 24. And I can do that real fast. Just round them in my head and multiply them very quickly. The actual answer, if I multiplied these numbers out, would be 24 and 31 30 seconds. So you can see I'm off by, when I, when I do my rounding and estimation, I'm off by 31 30 seconds, or less than 1 out of 24. So that's, that's pretty close exactly how close you end up depends on how severely these numbers get rounded. This first number only got rounded by a fourth and this second number only got rounded by an eighth. Also, one of these numbers rounded down, four and a quarter rounded down to four, and the other one rounded up, five and seven eighths rounded up to six. If they had both rounded down or both rounded up, my error would have been uh, substantially larger. So just keep that in mind. When you round, you just get an approximate answer. It's inaccurate. And how inaccurate it is depends on the numbers and can vary substantially from one problem to another. So our usual warnings about rounding, and especially about possibly rounding severely, come into play in problems like this as well.